Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Levitating Slinky. Grab a slinky, hold it up, and let it drop. Watch the bottom carefully. The bottom of the slinky just hangs there in midair, while the top part collapses down. This isn't some camera trick or editing magic. When you drop something, all of it should fall at the same time. Drop a book, the top and bottom fall together. Drop your phone, same thing, but the slinky's bottom stays frozen in place. When you're holding the slinky, there are two forces at work. Gravity is pulling every part of it down, but the spring tension is pulling everything up. These forces are in perfect balance, like a cosmic tug of war. When you let go of the top, the information that says, we're falling now, has to travel down the slinky like a wave. This wave isn't instant. It actually takes time to reach the bottom. It's like a really long line of people. The person at the back won't know it's time to run until they see everyone in front of them move. The bottom of the slinky waits, still experiencing the same upward pull from the spring that it had before you let go. This levitation lasts for about 0.3 seconds, and the weirdest part is this would happen even on the moon, with the exact same timing. The slinky plays by its own rules wherever you take it. Number 9. The Unpullable Books Grab two phone books and interleave their pages together, one by one. Now try to pull them apart. Even the strongest person you know probably couldn't separate them. In 2008, two trucks tried to pull apart two interleaved phone books. The trucks failed. When you pull on the books, you're actually making them grip each other tighter. Each page is like a tiny wedge. When you pull, these wedges get squeezed together. The more you pull, the tighter they squeeze. This effect multiplies with each page. If one page gives you X amount of friction, two pages give you way more than 2X. It's exponential, which means it gets ridiculous really fast. Scientists calculated that you'd need about 8,000 pounds of force to pull apart two properly interleaved foam books. That's the weight of two adult elephants. This same principle is why your shoelaces stay tied and why climbers' ropes don't slip. It's also why you can't pull a knot apart by yanking on it. The effect is so strong that even in a vacuum, where there's no air pressure helping, the book still won't come apart. Number 8. The Big Nut Paradox Brazil nuts always end up on top when you shake a can of mixed nuts. You'd think they'd sink to the bottom since they're heavier than other nuts, but they don't. They rise up, completely defying gravity. This is called the Brazil nut effect, and here's what's happening. The smaller nuts create tiny gaps as they move around. The smaller nuts start flowing underneath the Brazil nut. Each shake pushes more small nuts under the big one, slowly lifting it up. The small nuts essentially build an elevator for their bigger cousin. Scientists use MRI machines to watch this happen in real time. They can see tornado-like patterns forming in the can. The small nuts spiral down along the sides and push up through the middle. This same effect happens in avalanches. That's why they make special avalanche backpacks that inflate into big balloons. The balloon acts like a Brazil nut, pushing you to the top of the snow instead of letting you sink. Number 7. The Leiden Frost Effect Drop water on a really hot pan and it dances around, floating above the surface. Normally when water hits something hot, it should evaporate instantly. But when the surface reaches 379 degrees Fahrenheit, something incredible happens. The water starts levitating. The bottom of the water droplet vaporizes so fast it creates a tiny cushion of steam. This steam cushion acts like a force field, keeping the rest of the water from touching the hot surface. The water droplet floats around like it's in a zero-gravity chamber and it gets even stranger. This floating water actually lasts longer than water on a less hot surface. Scientists use this effect to create surfaces where liquids can move without any friction, but this same effect makes liquid nitrogen spills extremely dangerous. The nitrogen floats on a cushion of air, spreading everywhere instead of evaporating in one spot. Number 6. The Chain That Defies Gravity Take a metal chain and drop it on the floor. It falls down because that's what gravity does. But under the right conditions, a chain can actually jump up before falling down. This is called the chain fountain, and it looks like a glitch in reality. Take a long chain, pile it in a container, then grab one end and drop it over the edge. The chain should just fall straight down. Instead, it shoots up into the air, creating a beautiful arc before falling. The faster the chain falls, the higher it jumps. And this is pure physics being weird. This effect works better with beaded chains than regular chains. Those cheap ball chains you use for your ceiling fan create a bigger arc than an expensive metal chain. Scientists used high-speed cameras and complex math equations to study this phenomenon. They named it the Mold Effect, after Steve Mold, who first showed it to the world. Number 5. Instant Freezing Water 
Pure water can be cooled way below freezing and stay completely liquid. Scientists call this supercooled water. The moment you disturb this supercooled water, it freezes instantly. You can literally watch ice crystals race through the water like lightning. It's like the water suddenly remembers it's supposed to be frozen and plays catch up at super speed. You've probably seen this yourself. When you pull a water bottle out of your freezer and it's still liquid, but then turns to slush when you move it. That's super cooling in action. And you can recreate this at home with nothing but pure bottled water and a freezer. Put an unopened bottle of water in your freezer for about three hours. If you're careful, you'll pull out liquid water that's below freezing. One small disturbance and it'll snap freeze right before your eyes. They know it has something to do with water molecules needing a starting point to form ice crystals. But the fact that water can simply ignore freezing temperature shows how mysterious even the most basic things in nature can be. Number 4. The Empemba Effect Take two identical containers of water. One's hot, like fresh coffee hot. The other's cold, like straight from the tap cold. Put them both in the freezer. Sometimes, against all logic, the hot water freezes faster. This is called the Empemba Effect, and it drives physicists crazy. Scientists have been scratching their heads over this since Aristotle's time. A high school student in Tanzania named Erasto Mpemba discovered this while making ice cream. He saw that his hot milk mixture froze faster than his classmates' cold ones. His teachers thought he was crazy. His classmates laughed at him. But Mpemba got a physicist to take him seriously. Scientists still can't fully explain why this happens. Some think it's because hot water has less dissolved gas. Others say it's because of something called supercooling. That's when water gets colder than its freezing point, but stays liquid because it needs a trigger to turn into ice. The most baffling part is its inconsistency. Sometimes this effect works, and sometimes it doesn't. And after all that, we still don't have a definitive answer. Number 3. Sailing faster than the wind. These rebel boats can actually sail faster than the wind that's pushing them. Some sailboats can go three times the speed of the wind. When a sailboat starts moving, it creates its own wind. Just like when you stick your hand out of a moving car window on a calm day, you feel wind. That's because your movement creates what we call apparent wind. Sailboats use this apparent wind to their advantage. As the boat speeds up, it creates more apparent wind. More apparent wind means more force on the sails. More force means more speed, which just keeps amplifying the effect. The sail isn't just catching the wind like a net. The sail curves the air around it creating a pressure difference that pulls the boat forward. That fin underneath the boat, called a keel, is crucial. Without it, the boat would just get pushed sideways by the wind. But the keel turns that sideways push into forward motion. These boats are literally breaking the laws of common sense every single day. Number 2. The Self-Balancing Bicycle You're basically balancing on two thin wheels, going at high speeds, and somehow not falling over. It seems impossible. Take an empty bicycle, Give it a good push, and watch what happens. It'll keep going, staying perfectly upright, with no rider at all. Scientists thought it was the spinning wheels keeping it stable, like a gyroscope. But when they built special bikes with counter-rotating wheels that cancelled out the gyroscopic effect, the bikes still balanced themselves. Then they thought it was because the front wheel trails behind the steering axis. Wrong again. They built bikes without that feature, and they still stayed upright. The real reason bikes can balance themselves is actually dark. They're designed to fall, but in a very specific way. The front of the bike is built to fall faster than the back. When the bike starts to tip to one side, the front falling faster causes the wheel to turn into the fall. This turning motion brings the wheels back under the center of mass. The bike is constantly trying to fall, but keeps accidentally catching itself. You're basically on a two-wheel death trap that stays upright by constantly failing to fall over. We didn't even design bikes this way on purpose. Early bicycle makers just copied what worked through trial and error. They had no idea why their designs stayed upright. For over a century, we've all been riding around on machines that shouldn't physically work. And nobody knew why. We only figured out the real reason in 2011. Number 1. The Unbreakable and Exploding Glass Drop These things look like glass tadpoles with a bulbous head and a thin tail. They're created by dropping molten glass into cold water. It's like giving glass the worst brain freeze ever. The head of this glass drop is basically indestructible. You can hit it with a hammer, and it won't break. You can put it under a hydraulic press, and it'll just laugh at you. Scientists even shot it with a bullet, and the bullet shattered while the glass head stayed intact. But if you scratch the tail even slightly, the whole thing explodes at over 2,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a bullet. 
The explosion happened so fast that scientists needed cameras shooting at a million frames per second just to catch it on video. When the hot glass hits the cold water, the outside cools super fast and shrinks, but the inside is still hot and takes longer to cool. This creates a massive amount of stress inside the glass. The outside layer pulls inward really hard, while the inside pushes outward. This tension makes the head incredibly strong, but it also turns the whole thing into a glass bomb waiting to go off. Break the tail, and all that stored energy releases at once. The crack travels through the glass at supersonic speeds, turning it into a cloud of glass dust. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.